If you haven't been to New York City, if you have been to Central Park, and you haven't been to Central Park, if you haven't uncovered these top Central Park secrets. Let the name fool you because Sheep Meadow was actually a meadow with sheep in it. When the designers of Central Park first well, designed the park, they decided that by having white sheep grazing against the green background, it would make it look more beautiful. And that's what they did, having sheep in this meadow, which is actually near a dairy as well. You can make the connection, sheep, dairy. Tucked away in the North Woods, here we have the Block House, one of the oldest buildings here in Central Park. It was built as one of the many fortifications of the 1812 war. <laughs> from the various flora and fauna that you can find here in Shakespeare's garden there is a bench called the whispering bench now if you sit there at opposite of the bench with a, a friend and start whispering to each other it is said that you can actually hear what your friend is whispering I don't know try it out let me know if it works Okay, it doesn't look like much over here, but this area between the 82nd and 85th Street, before Central Park was even Central Park, this used to be an African-American village called the Seneca Village. Um, there were around over 200 people living in this village, but unfortunately, a legislation was passed and the village had to be demolished to build Central Park. Okay guys, I finally found it! This is not an easy thing to find, but look at that, it's so beautiful. It's actually a survey bolt. Um, let me just give you a quick history about why this is so important to Central Park and why nobody really knows so much about it. Now, if you didn't know this about New York City, or maybe you already know news about New York City, but the way that the city is planned is um, according to the streets. So it goes like avenues, um, like for example, first, second, third, fourth, and then it's crossed by streets, um, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So basically you've got thousands of intersections in New York City. And these intersections are, it's how you actually get around the city. When you want to go somewhere, you would tell the taxi driver to drop you off at so-and-so intersection. Now, what is this? This is when one of the designers of New York City, Randall, when he created the New York City grid system, he actually went about and marked all of the thousands of intersections in New York City using either white marbles or these balls. So he would just, you know, kind of nail them down. And this has been kept here ever since that time. I can't believe I finally found it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful survey vault.